is CBS 4 News tonight. I can assure you that all the resources of the Miami-Dade Police Department will be deployed to bring these subjects into custody. And I call out those subjects, you better turn yourself in. Now at 11, the search for a shooter continues after a child was killed outside of a children's party in a Golden Glades neighborhood. Detectives at the Miami-Dade Police Department sent out these photos today, saying they are working around the clock and using all available resources to solve this murder. The victim, Elijah LaFrance, only three years old. Tonight, his uncle and neighbors are speaking out about this tragedy. Some of them witnessed it firsthand. CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo has more from the scene. They kill it. Yeah, we like, eh. God, he's still on my mind. He was right there. I was playing with him. The family of this three-year-old boy, Elijah LaFrance, are mourning their little one. And that boy was so sweet. This three-year-old boy was shot and killed Saturday night at his birthday party near the area of North Miami Avenue and Northeast 158th Street. His uncle, Adrian Annister, who was at the party, says when shots were fired, Elijah's cousin ran to him and said Elijah had gotten hurt. I wish it could be me because I live long enough. I can't even say, Mom, Dad, that's it. This was a scene Saturday night. Miami-Dade police responded to a call around 8 in the evening. When they arrived, they found the toddler and a 21-year-old woman shot. My officer swiftly picked up the child from the floor, put them in their police car, and drove them to the hospital. And unfortunately, the child is deceased. The woman expected to be okay, but police are still searching for the shooter responsible. You open fire on them. You're nothing but a coward. I'm looking at you in the face. If you can see it in the eye, you're a coward. Sabab, who lives just a house down, walked outside just moments before shots were fired. As soon as I come outside, I see this white truck driving by. But there was a big party here. I know usually you know, traffic is slow. So the car was driving very slow. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to it because it's, it's normal. So my sister-in-law car was parking right there. So next thing we know, bloom, 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 we see the tree. With this tree right there, I couldn't see exactly but my neighbor across the street. He saw everything. So when the guy pulled the machine gun and started shooting. Zabob's neighbor, who did not want to appear on camera, said, I don't know how many shots, 20 or more, maybe. You know, and I saw a person running to a car, and then that car took off at high speed, and two more cars followed at high speed, all going east. Neighbors shocked and saddened. We don't need this, you know? It's time people to have fun and get together, not the time to, to bury a child who's just three years old. I met, I met the aunt of that child earlier today, and she was screaming, telling me that, the boy was about to turn four in a few days. I mean, it's crazy. And again, the shooter is still out there. Police need your help. If you have any tips or any information, police are giving out a reward of $5,000. In Golden Glades, Jessica Vallejo, CBS 4 News Tonight.